Hello everyone, Oliver from Scholarcy here. We understand the challenges associated with reading complex academic journals, so here's how you can transform any article into a plain language summary. Let's take a look. So let's suppose I want to read this article. This could be really challenging for me because it's page after page of dense and complex academic text. Let's start by importing this to Scholarcy Library. I've already got the article saved to my computer, so I can drag and drop the PDF into the upload field and it will start to upload. So now the article is uploaded, you can see that Scholarcy has automatically renamed the file the proper article title. This can make it much easier to retrieve these at a later date. The first thing we can also see is the article headline. This will give us a brief, plain language overview of what the article is talking about. The first part of the plain language summary comes from the snapshot at the beginning of the structured summary. This will give you a narrative overview of exactly what the article is trying to achieve. Reading this before moving on to subsequent sections will give you enough knowledge that you can preempt anything that's coming up, making it easier to digest complex themes and concepts that will come up throughout the article. As we scroll through the rest of the structured summary, the next section you'll find are the key findings. This will give you five bullet points, which are the main takeaways from an article, so you can know what the most pertinent information is before reading any more complex text. We can then scroll through the rest of the structured summary. From here you'll get the objectives, the methods, the results and the conclusions in their own structured summaries. Use this to take a deep dive into the specific section you want to learn more about in a plain language summary. If you want to take this one step further, we can use the Enhanced Summary option to expand on the original summary we get. We have options from General Reader, High School Student, Undergrad, Researcher and Bullet Point Lover. Let's take a look at a bullet point version of this summary. So now we've generated a new structured summary based off of having bullet lists rather than a traditional summary. You can see that the topic headings have changed in the navigation and we can scroll through the structured summary to expand on more detail on any of these features. And lastly, we get to the dig deeper section. Use this to write a prompt or ask a question. If you're unsure about anything, this is a good way to test your knowledge and make sure that you understand the key concepts and topics that have come up in this particular article. So now you know how to generate a plain language summary with Scholarcy. Give it a go, let us know what you think in the comments down below. Thanks very much for watching.